Jerks, welcome back to the show. So, some of you are wondering, what's going on? Well, I'm taking your advice. I asked some questions, I got some answers, and we're following through with some of the stuff you've been saying. So, we're going back. We're going back. We'll see how this goes. Um, so, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Bunked Belts for making this awesome uh, title belt here. I am the champion now of that new toy smell. Uh, they did a fantastic job on this. This is a, I guess they make custom belts. Like that's their thing is they make custom belts. And so uh, they were nice enough to send one of these along. It's fantastic. You can find them on Etsy. It's bunked belts. I will leave a link down in the description. Um, but uh, I just thought this is a nice, nice prop. This is a neat, neat thing. So I, I like it. I like this a lot. Um, all right. so. Some of you are wondering, where's the full episode? We were That's what we've been doing, is posting full episodes of the old archives of that new toy smell. Well, as it turns out, when we got through that last chunk of, uh, of episodes, I think we got, was it episodes uh, like 17 through 30, that was the last chunk I had of full, complete episodes of that entire uh, run. Now, I still have some complete episodes like further on down the line. In fact, I think the next one I have complete is episode 38. Um, but in this period in between, we're hitting some gaps again. So again, if you have any of these, if you ever downloaded any of these, if you find them uploaded to Vimeo or something, um, and, and you can you know fill in any of these gaps, let me know. I would love to reclaim some of these old episodes. They are just gone forever uh, from the internet, as far as I can tell. But um today we have part of episode was this 34 marvel universe figures yeah 34 hasbro's uh um marvel universe line and i there, there were four segments we always did it four segments there was like an intro news desk segment which eventually i took over and started doing the news desk which became its own standalone news desk which became eventually the nerd news desk which is its own thing um, then second was the video review. Then we had the round table talking about the toys, playing with the toys, whatever, uh, a couple of us sitting around. And then finally the fan corner, uh, where we, uh, talked about the feedback that you would send in, the questions you would ask, the photos you would send in, things like that. I don't have sections one and four, but I was able to reclaim, uh, section two we actually had on the Pop Culture Network channel as a standalone review. Uh, and then section three, I was able to recover from a hard drive. So sections two and three, I can present today where we look at the video review of uh, the uh, Marvel Universe figures as they looked back in 2010. Uh, and then the discussion that we have with the figures of uh, myself and Duvall. And this actually marks the first time that Duvall attempted to unmask me. So the first uh, supposed unmasking happens. He actually did unmask me, technically speaking. So the first ever unmasking of dirt happens in this episode. There's a renaissance in three and three quarter inch figures these days. From the Infinite Heroes to the Iron Man 2 to these, the Marvel Universe line of figures from Hasbro. Now they have had a few cosmetic changes to the packaging along the way and there are several different types of articulation depending on the character. There are some great figures involved in this line. They've had mail away figures, They've had Comic-Con exclusives, store exclusives for Toys R Us, and Walmart. There have even been these Secret Wars 2-packs, which include a comic book from the Secret Wars miniseries, as well as two figures. I love these things, but of course, I'm a huge comic book fan. But if you look at the characters that are available in this line, you will find that just about every character you can think of, well, okay, not Pace Pot Pete, but otherwise, every character has been given an opportunity to appear in a smaller than four inch figure. Now, when you buy one of these, you actually get quite a bit in the package. You get your figure and any accessories they come with. You get the Fury File or Hammer dossier. You get their mutant registration card or a secret file if, you know, 
they're one of those that don't register like they're supposed to. And you get a code which unlocks the Fury file online. Starting with the hammer line, which shows Norman Osborn on the packaging, you also get one of these figure stands, which is a great addition. Now, some of these characters you can see are just repaints, like Daredevil, for instance. You can get his classic yellow and brown costume or his modern day red one, which is great because as a comic book nerd, I really like having the ability to buy either one. There's also Miss Marvel. You've got her classic 70s disco inspired look with that awesome feathered haircut. And then you've got the new version of Miss Marvel. So it's not simply a repaint of the original character, it's actually a new sculpt of the character. Now, take a look at a character like Iron Fist here. When they originally released them, you got the figure on the left, which is a great looking figure for Iron Fist, but there's one small problem. There's no fist. So they re-released a second version of him, and this one does have the fist. You can see his chest symbol is slightly modified, but also if you look at the body of the character, it is a different sculpt, or at least the articulation's different. So it's a different body type with that same head. So it is nice that if you went out and re-bought the figure, you were actually getting a, well, a different figure, just with that same yellow and green paint job. Now another figure who's gotten quite a few different versions is the Hulk. There's the dark green version that comes in your Secret Wars 2 pack. There's your modern green version. If you're into the Red Hulk, and I'm not really sure who you are if you are into the Red Hulk, there's the Red Hulk version here. And for those of you who remember the days of the classic Grey Hulk, they do have the Grey Hulk. Now, if you look at them, you'll see that they're actually two different body types. Uh, you can see the Dark Green Hulk and the Red Hulk share the same body, whereas the Modern Hulk and the Grey Hulk share the same body. And Modern Hulk and Grey Hulk have the same heads, but your classic Secret Wars version of Hulk and your Red Hulk do have different head sculpts to them. So it really is, again, nice to see that if you're rebuying the same character, you're actually getting some different tooling. Now, you might think a character like Captain America hasn't changed much over the years, but they found a way to make four versions of them, and you know what? They all make sense. You've got your classic Captain America and your black and white Captain America, the black and white one being your San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from last year. You also have this ultimate version of Captain America from the Ultimate Universe, which, to be honest, I never thought they'd make a figure based off the Ultimate Universe, and so that was just plain awesome. Then there's also this modern Captain Aversion, with the Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes version of Captain America, with his handgun and his glitter uniform. Now, whether or not you're a fan of the new Captain America, the old Captain America, new Coke, old Coke, Crystal Pepsi, whatever, there's something for you here but not quite as many as our next figure, Spider-Man. He's one of the most popular characters they've ever done in Marvel Comics, so it only makes sense that, well, there'd be a whole lot of Spider-Man characters. From his, uh, let's see, we've got a blue and red, there's the darker blue and red, there's the uh, blue with white highlights and red, there's that really dark and red. You've got the uh, black uniform, you've got the black uniform with some highlights to it, you also have that Age of Apocalypse alternate universe version of it. So, if you're a fan of Spider-Man, they got you covered too. Of course, if you take a look around the toy market today, you'll see that there's also a new Spider-Man line, which can add this version of Spider-Man. You also get this, I don't know, night stealth mode Spider-Man with a dive attack scuba gear. Spy well, you know, let's just say, if you're into Spider-Man, they got something for you. Iron Man is pretty similar. There's a lot of different versions of Iron Man, although, to be fair, there have been a lot of different versions of Iron Man's armor over the years. So whether or not you like his classic armor, his new armor, you want the stealth mode or the night mode armor, if you want the Secret Wars version that doesn't have the shiny uh, metallic tint to it, they've got you covered on that as well. Of course, again, there are other Iron Man lines out there if you want to get this Iron Maiden one with the big rockets or these ones based off his different movie sculpts, well, they've got that too, but keeping in mind that there's tons of figures out there, I think it's fair to say that if you're a Marvel Universe fan, you really can't ignore this line. There are so many figures and so many different sculpts available that it's very easy to look at these 
toys and just simply say, make mine marvel. All right. Dirt. What? How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm good. Nice yeah. to meet you. Hey, nice, nice to see you in a hey. while. Hey, it's first, is your first day? Uh, yeah, I just started here. Really? Yeah. They haven't You're given me here? the benefits package. I don't know what's going on. You're new here. You don't When's know lunch? anyone? Um, in about 20 minutes. Sweet. All right. So. Good video. Good video. Yeah. Um, so Marvel Universe, obviously, I've never owned any of these before. Uh, I don't collect this line. So this is just a random sampling of stuff I could find at the store. And uh, what? Okay. Right. right. Yeah. Probably, probably having them in he's, custom cases, yeah, or not custom cases, he, but having he, them in cases probably gives He a says is uh, one. I mean, one thing that's you if you're going to collect the Marvel Universe line, as opposed to something like Infinite Heroes, which is just figures. One thing about uh, Marvel Universe is they all have accessories, and so you really need some way to store these things because little nunchucks are. Uh, ow. Ow! Ow! I heard that we're supposed to perpetrate violence against you. I've heard that's good for ratings. They said it was me originally, but apparently something about Arnold Schwarzenegger slapping you on the Get face. Get to the is... chopper! The Ice Age! So, you know, I, I also grabbed some other figures, since this is the big, you know, Marvel Universe 3 and 3 quarters yes. uh, push that they've been yes, doing you, the last couple of years. There's... You have some other, you have some uh, Wolverine in the X-Men, this, right. this little beast. So, like, uh, here's the little animated Iceman, which you can see compared to the original uh, Spider-Man is Amazing Friends animated Iceman. You might notice that... Uh, animated Iceman's pooping? He, well, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. It's uh, the, not a very well-made figure uh, as far as those go. But, you know, um, as far as the Marvel Universe lines, there's actually two different Icemen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you've got your comic book based version and your animated style version and they are extremely different mm. you can tell that they did not just you know say hey we're gonna just do the same guy paint them blue they don't actually, let uh, don't let pixel dan see that one he might steal it he's got an infatuation with know. those types of where did he, is, is he here or did he i haven't seen off? him yet okay, good we're safe you know what's funny is that uh when this line first came out i think all of us hated it yeah actually when it first came out one, the first thing we noticed was just uh a lot of the the anatomy of the figures yeah. is weird. Um, and there were certain issues. I wish I could, you know, it's not like I've got a bunch of these sitting here trying to find the right one going through all of these. Find but, bullseye. Uh, find bullseye. Yeah, where's that bullseye? There he is. If you can pull out that bullseye there, pull take in. a look at him. All right. All right, now, first of all, he doesn't look too bad straight on, right? Looks looks pretty nice. But turn him so you can see his neck. Wolverines, a lot of the Wolverines are the same way where he's got that long giraffe, Tyrannosaurus Rex looking <laughs> neck thing. <laughs> And uh, the other thing with Bullseye, yeah, that just happened. So that's how we're doing the show, apparently. Uh, but the other thing is, if you look at his hand, it's molded with cards in yes. it. Yes. Which, I mean, granted, it's Bullseye, right? I mean, he's going to throw stuff. So having cards would be, and they probably thought they could reuse that hand when they do Gambit. Yes. You know, something like that. And I think but, they did, too, didn't they? But at the, same, at the same time, it's like you can't use that hand for anything, you know? You can't put another accessory in his hand, is what I meant to say, um, because it's molded with the uh, the cards in it. So it's just like whatever you do with this figure. I'm a guy who likes to play with his toys. I like to pull them out and set up scenes and have them fight with each other. And what are you doing? I've had it. You've had what? I've had it. You've had nothing. What? What are you doing? Come here. Hey, what? I'm going to find out what's under this mask. What's <laughs> <laughs> I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Son of a... What are you, what are you doing? Weirdo? So... <clears throat> oh, Duvall is sad. <sighs> Cheer up. I'm actually what you call a never nude. Kind of like the guy on uh, Arrested Development. So, that's why we do this the way we do. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, yeah, but a lot of these figures are really nice, have some really nice accessories. We're just going to go back to the show like that never happened. A little awkward, move things along. So. I like Thing. But I like that there's a, oh God, <laughs> I like that there's a light blue and a dark blue Thing. But this, this dark blue has white stripes and this one has black boots. You know, some nice stuff too, also like Hobgoblin comes with his little uh, brother, little uh, jet hair oh. accessory. That, Woo! I'm sorry, I've got thing on thing action. That's gross. Aren't there laws in never mind. So uh oh, this green goblin. Another thing I really like about these is that 
for me, I'm one of those guys who likes alternate styles of costumes. And one thing we really looked at in that video was all the different variations on these characters. You've got... So like, uh, yeah, Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel. And Ms. Marvel. Take a guy like Iron Man, who's had 9,000 different pieces of armor. You've got a version of him in there. You've got uh, this silver Centurion version of mm. Iron Man. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, all these different... Here's the classic. When I started buying comics, because I'm a little older than some of those guys, this is the style that he was wearing that I was familiar with. And so to get one of these is actually a big deal, because I was afraid this was the only one they would ever make. But they didn't just make that one. They also made... This one, which was, you know, really cool that they, they had that one. And then, of course, they, they also had this one, you know, out there. So that was pretty cool. So My favorite is, is Awesome Deadpool and Poop Deadpool. Now, those are both from the Wolverine line. Now, they're in the same scale as the Marvel Universe, and they fit just fine with them. Um, one thing, though, to point out is this is the old-style package. And if you look at this style package, this is the Nick Fury Shield package. And um, this is what you used to see when they first came yes. out in all the stores. If you read the comics at all, and if you're someone buying these toys, you probably are, then uh, you know that Norman Osborn took over S.H.I.E.L.D. and turned it into Hammer. So they actually changed the packaging to match the current storylines going on in the comic, which for me, as a big comic nerd dork geek, this was a really neat thing that they did because I just love you know having that, that different packaging that fits with the storyline fits with the characters because then it makes yeah, sense. Absolutely. You know? It's very cool. Um, and then, of course, speaking of S.H.I.E.L.D., we do have the Nick Fury exclusive here. This was the one you had to sign up for Marvel's Digital Comics, which if you've ever listened to our podcast for It Figures, those early episodes, we lamented this. But if you're like me and you have parents trying to figure out what to get you for Christmas, you just say, hey, sign me up for a Marvel Digital Comics subscription. I'll never use it, but no. at least I get the free toy out of the box. Exactly. So. So that was pretty nifty there. And then, of course, some of these Secret Wars 2 packs. You've seen these. Mm -hmm. come Which with now the, all, all 12 are out. Yep. Yeah, come with the comic book. Come with two of the figures. And so this is a great way. Like, again, big comic book nerd. These are Marvel Comics properties. So you're going to put a comic book in the box. That's just, that's tremendous for me. And even though I've, you know, I've got a couple copies of it anyway. And a I've couple? read it a million times. A couple. Uh, another copy never hurts. So it's true. Yeah, overall, this, I mean, it's just a great line articulation wise. Uh, the, the sculpting's gotten much better as it's gone on from those first few figures with the Punisher with a huge head. And now they've fixed their problems, fixed their and, issues. And even with the new packaging with the, um, the, the Hammer series, they put figure stands in them. Mm, and the figure great. stands are nice. They tell you which uh, number the character is. Like the Spider Man is number one and it has his name on the stand. Which is cool. So when you actually display them, because again, if you're a big. Uh, dork, nerd, geek type uh, like me who likes to display figures it's great to have those stands. Exactly. It's awesome. Well, I think that wraps it up for our look at the Marvel Universe. Already? Figures. Yeah, yeah, we're done. You I, can... I, I packed all this stuff up and brought it over and we're already out of time. Um, well, you did a great job. You did, you did a good job. It's, it's good to be here with you. It's good to sit here with you. Let me kick it over to uh, myself. I kick it to myself. It's gonna be crazy and Pixel Dan at the fan corner. So can I keep playing with this stuff? No, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we'll be over there. You Sweet. do what you want. All Just right. no putting them in weird Namor places. Namor comes for Sue Storm. <sighs> Dan. If you watch Friday's episode, you know that we're gonna try to bring that new toy smell back. Um, now it's gonna be a weekly show, once a week, and I'm thinking probably a Saturday show, maybe Saturday morning. Um, I'm hoping I can, you know, work on it earlier in the week and then upload it and have it ready to go as like a, maybe a premiere. I don't know if I want to do a premiere necessarily or just have it ready to go uh, on Saturday, but that's probably going to be where that works out. So then during the week, there are going to be some times where we can throw in a couple other videos during the week. I'm thinking maybe one about video games. I don't know, maybe one about tech. I would do comics, but we already uh, we have the Comic Book Chronicles in uh, connection with the Click Nation, and I don't want to step on their toes or anything like that. So I'm not sure if I want to do that as a full-on show or not. Um, but anyway, regardless, we're going to do some other things there. But I, one of the things I asked was uh, you know polls, uh, getting feedback from you guys, uh, answering questions, stuff like that. What's the best place to get a hold of you guys? Some of you said YouTube. Some of you said the Facebook group you'd be willing to join. So 
as it stands right now, we've got a post up on the community tab on YouTube, both on my personal channel and on the Pop Culture Network channel. Um, and it's a standalone post on the official Pop Culture Network group on Facebook asking what's the weirdest stuff in your collection. And what I'm asking for here are photos. I want you to go through your collection and find weird stuff, maybe bootlegs, knockoffs, um, something you got when you were out of the country. Um, maybe you went somewhere else and they had a character like Superman, but they gave him some sort of weird uh, name because Superman didn't translate correctly into another. I don't know. Something along those lines. If you can find that weird, crazy stuff, I'd love to spotlight some of that stuff. Also, though, um, always send in your collections. So if you want to do a, a 30 second video of going through some of the stuff in your collection, if you've got like a wall of action figures, if you've got, you know, totes and totes and totes and stuff you want to show them off, if you've got bookcases filling your basement that you want to show off of all your action figures and stuff, uh, I'd love to see some of that footage. You can either upload it as unlisted and send us the link um, from YouTube uh, and we can grab it from there or you can uh, try to uh, put it into an email and send it to us so those those tend to get kind of big you can always throw it in something like a Dropbox uh, or OneDrive or something and share the link with us but always you can send it to me just at dirt at popculturenetwork.com that's going to be the easiest way to get it to me um, and, and that's or send me a direct message on Facebook um, and I'll grab them from there. But I'm always going to be looking for that stuff. But uh, as far as right now, I'd like to collect some of this crazy weird stuff that you guys might have. Maybe they're custom toys that you found at a convention. Um, maybe you have a friend who, uh, you know, is good at customizing figures. So he made something for you that's like a weird offshoot. You you really like the Pimp Daddy Destro uh, recolor version of Destro. So you had Cobra Commander done to match it or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe you had a Megatron done in that same scheme. I don't know. Something along those lines. If you've got something weird and crazy like that i'd love to see that stuff and i'd love to feature that on an up upcoming episode of that new toy smell another thing would be um i want to do some spotlights on forgotten toy lines um so if you can think of a toy line that you just haven't seen anybody talk about you remember it but you haven't seen anybody talk about in forever um, and you'd like to bring some attention to it, let me know. Drop it in the comments, uh, or again, send me an email. Or as always, don't forget, we have a 24-hour voice mail line. It's a Skype mailbox. So you can call in using your actual phone, call into our Skype mailbox, and leave a voicemail message. It's area code 217-953-4025, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Leave us comments and feedback there love to hear it and some of those even as long as they're clean and short and concise may actually use those on upcoming episodes of the show as well so anyway guys uh that's going to be enough talking from me hello and welcome to another edition of campus update many exciting things taking place at our school today for more information on that we go to our live report hello Hello? Uh, I was trying to Skype out to Sween Hollick. Hello? Um, wrong number? Sorry. That is some cool stuff. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Campus Update. I'm Mark S. Allen, and we'll see you next time.